Okay, guys, let's do this. Leroy Dragons! Random Black Guy! What up, everybody? Alfie here, aka Random Black Guy, aka Chocolate Face Don't Makeup, here with a quick review for the film Knives Out. <laughs> is the 2019 Ryan Johnson film if you don't know I'm a huge fan of Ryan Johnson I like him as a director he'd, he'd done one of my favorite films uh, a film called Brick I think you should see it it's a really good film starring Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Looper starring Joseph Gordon-Levitt once again and Bruce Willis so I liked Ryan Johnson a lot but he messed the Star Wars universe like he did a huge dookie on that franchise so even though I hated what he did with the last Skywalker film I think that he's a competent director and he and he's done really really good films so I was pretty excited for this film just because of him and the stellar cast like this film has a huge cast of great actors so I was so excited seeing this film uh, this film right here is starring a bunch of people. This film is starring Dan Craig, Chris Evans, Michael Shannon, Jim Lee Curtis, Keith Stanfield, Ana de Armas, Don Johnson, Tony Collette, and Christopher Plummer. And the plot of the film is that this film is a murder mystery. This is about a detective who has to investigate a deaf patriarch uh, in the family. This detective brings two rookies so they can solve a of the death of the older person in the family. Why I wanted to see this film is because it's been a long time I've seen the, this type of films. Uh, the last time I've seen this type of film was uh, the Midnight Oriental Express film that came two years ago. I thought it was okay, but I also like Cluedo. So I was really excited to see this film and I had the opportunity to see a screening of this film. So I'm not going to chit chat because I just came home straight from the theater watching this film. I'm just going straight to it, man. I like this film a lot. Huge reason why is because of Ryan Johnson's direction and dialogue, man. This is some of the funniest film of 2019, man. I had a lot of love for this, man. Uh, this is a huge mystery film. Or going to guess a lot who actually killed uh, the father in the family but I think that the comedy makes this film also a funny ride so it's not like you have to concentrate a lot you can just enjoy the dialogues the direction by Ryan Johnson is really really good it is so great it is sharp it is straight to the point this is some of the most accessible film of 2019 and what I mean is that you understand why you still are in a film that is mostly a question mark and I think that Ryan Johnson does a great job with it and the acting man the acting is so good the standout in this film is Michael Shannon and Daniel Craig Daniel Craig in this film is so goddamn good man I like Daniel Craig but I've never been like the biggest fan of him but in this film I think that he shines over everybody everybody else was really really good they brought their A game he weighed everybody down because his acting was so good I think that the first 25 to 30 minutes I, I, I was annoyed of his accent because he was talking with this thick sudden accent but I think that if you just can leave that thing alone and see that his, his overactingness uh, is a part of this film that you will enjoy him a lot and Michael Shannon is also really good even though he he is a bit of the straight man but he was still weird in a way that I think that you can enjoy him and Chris Evans was really really good too like he had one scene that I was like ah I can't I like that I like that I like that man and everybody else is really really good man I think the acting in here is just it's so good man it is really good and you can enjoy it the comedy adds so much to this film that the personality factor just went a notch to be honest man I, I had a lot of fun with this film man and this film is suspenseful 
also. And even though this film is not better than Brick and Looper, I think this film is a, a, a pretty good follow-up after uh, the horrendous Star Wars failure. So this is original, this is really entertaining for you guys and I think that you will have a lot of fun because this is a film that is uh, original. I think that I was entertained, I liked it a lot, like I had a lot of fun. But I think that the bad thing is that even though it's a, it's a funny film, I think it's a bit lighthearted and this is the type of film that is going to be pretty forgettable even though this is one of the better films of 2019. I think that in about three months, you're probably gonna forget this film because it, it, I, I've seen so much good films right now. Even though I had a lot of fun, this is this is a really good film, but it's not gonna be in my best film of 2019. I had a lot of fun, but I think that you just have to be in the in a right mood to see this film, and you just gotta. Take this film with a grain of salt and understand that this is a murder mystery with a lot of comedy, man. Some of the other supported cast can be a little bit typical and maybe not developed fully, but you know, it's okay. You understand why why they work that way. Uh, do I think you have to see it in the cinema? Probably not. You can wait till it comes to, uh, to a streaming service and see this film if you're bored, uh, I think you're probably going to enjoy it a little bit more than watching this in the cinema. Cause you gotta be in the you gotta be in the right mood to see this film. My rating on Knives Out, I'm going to give Knives Out 3.5 out of five. I like this film. This film was a really good film. Even though this film, to me, it's, it's not going to be in my one of the best films of this year. This film is a fun mystery film. It feels like a, a board game coming to life. And I just enjoyed watching this uh, cast doing the best. Could you see, you see the chemistry between the actors and everybody is having a lot of fun. Daniel Craig, once again, I, I Kudos to you, man. You were so good. And Anna the Adamas was also really, really good. And everybody else, you know, they they did their part. But I think they are going to be overshadowed by Danny Craig. Yeah, guys, have you seen Knives Out? What do you think about Knives Out? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Write your comments down below and let me know. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification bell. So every time I upload a new video, you will be the first to see it. My name is Alfie, AKA Random Black Guy, AKA Chocolate Face No Makeup. And that was my quick review for the film, Knives Out. Until next time guys, I'm gonna give you out there. Peace. Random Black Guy.